Hey you all, Carpet Bagger here, coming to you live from the south, more specifically, the middle of nowhere. Check out this cool sign right here. Show enough country cooking. Got granny there, pouring some coffee, got a piece of pie, trucks welcome. And check out this actual building that apparently was the show enough restaurant at one point. It's massive. Not sure what that says right there. Yeah, right there it says show enough. Van seat in there. Let's say Holy Ghost Warfare Chapel. Huh. The toilet. The strange scrawlings on the wall here. The sheriff's office. I love this bar area simply because there are two raccoon faces embedded on the side of it. <laughs> I love those raccoons. Look at these precious pearls right here. Creepy old chairs. Yeah, look at that curtain. Whatever that is, there's a bird nest over there in that. Oh, check out this mural. Oh, here's the exit. Oh, that's not. It's not uh, very private right there. Out back here, I didn't realize this is another massive section to this building. Look at that tiny little pointed elf shoe. Is this like an old record player? Yep, old record player. Is it Mickey? Hidden Mickey? That is a Hidden Mickey. <laughs> I'm thinking the top floor above the restaurant used to be a schoolhouse. Oh yeah. Oops, don't want to go this way. This is like a massive building. I'm wondering like if it was some sort of boarding house or because it was a truck stop at some point, but maybe a hotel or something. It's a little soggy right here. It's got really high ceilings in here. Oh, that's a little precarious right there. There's like a there's like a church in here. It's like a chapel. So is this place like a school slash church slash truck stop slash restaurant slash hotel? Oh now and now look. Now it's a now it's a movie theater. <laughs> oh, wow. At the Pope? Who knows what else up there? Oh, 
All right, this one I feel like I'm absolutely losing my mind because out this back door, there is a robotic donkey. What is going on here? And there's a non-robotic cow back there. There's some names documented on the walls. Look at the date stamp, 1976. Oh uh, yeah, look at all these names. This is 1947 and 1948. Senior play. Uh, I guess they would write down maybe like the cast of the play back here. Dude, that's awesome. That's a little odd right there. Here's a pulpit. Oh, it's got a little angel on the front. Show enough auction. Maybe this is an auction house? Down in this little ravine here, actually got uh, some lights set up. I guess this would be like stage lights shining up onto the stage. I think I'll hang on to my hope. English grammar and composition. These little desks, it's so cool. Is that a is that a guillotine? That was a cow. But seriously, is that a guillotine? Adam. You see what that is over there? Where? In the corner. See if you can figure out what that is. Is that a guillotine? That is a guillotine. There's a freaking guillotine. <laughs> what the heck have we walked into? You see, once upon a time, about a year ago, me and Adam were out in the desert, and we stumbled on an abandoned building where we found a homemade electric chair. And apparently history is repeating itself because in this abandoned building, we found a homemade gu guillotine. Check this out. Let's see, like this goes up and down. There's a hole for the head right there. It's freaking insane. That's so crazy. Why is there a head decapitating device in here, in the middle of nowhere, inside a church slash schoolhouse? Is this how they punish the children? If they did not read their McGuffey reading, reader correctly? <laughs> McGuffey reader. <laughs> oh my gosh, I just realized this is a casket. <laughs> look what you're touching right there. That is a casket. <laughs> what? what in the heck? That is a freaking casket. There's a guillotine and a casket. <laughs> What the heck, man? All right, so that was interesting. A school or church or truck stop or restaurant, I'm not sure. It, was, it looks like it's been maybe a bunch of things over the years, but homemade guillotine, homemade casket. Wow, appreciate you guys watching. If you like these videos, uh, if you want to send me a few dollars on Patreon, I'd be happy to send you postcards as I'm out and about on my journeys. I sell t-shirts down below as well. Links are all down there. You think people will show enough surprise? So, okay. I just, I ruined that joke. Let me start that again. Okay, sorry. Right, all right, take two. Take two. You think people will show enough subscribe? Show enough. I, yeah. <laughs>